Hey yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to Norman Tube and welcome to something new on Norman Tube. Not necessarily a new game, it's still FIFA 18, but it's not Ultimate Team, it's actually career mode. Now, uh, this video and this little series that I'm bringing to you guys is a bit of um, a reaction to what happened to Chelsea and what has been happening to Chelsea um, lately. Chelsea recently lost 4-1 to Watford. For those of you who do not know, I am a Chelsea fan. It's, it's just not been a good time, man. Obviously, we've had nine games in January um, and we've only won about one in the last five in the league. So it has been very, 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 very hard going. And I figured, why not make... Uh, or I've asked myself the question, what better way to express how I feel about what's happening at the club um, than bring you guys a little bit of a, a career mode uh, series to make me feel better about myself because things just haven't been going according to plan. Now obviously, there are, much like any supporter, there are certain things I feel could have been done differently by the club, by the manager, and that's basically what I want to try and and bring across in this little, you know, in this little series. First of all, obviously, we are Norman Tube. That's the manager's name. We've been invited to some preseason tournaments, and we're actually gonna be taking part in these uh, or in one of them. We need the one with the most money, so that is the Asian Elite Cup. Let's go with that. And I'm basically just going to be doing the things that I think should be done to get this team to where it needs to be. Davide Zapacosta, as you can see, they're breaking news recently signed. So we're starting obviously at the start of the season. Um, the first thing that needs to happen, the very, 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 very first thing that needs to happen in, um, in this career mode is the following. The very first thing that's going to happen is Gary Cahill is going to be departing the club. This guy is a cost. That's what we that's what we call him in these parts of the world. He is an absolute cost and he's going to be leaving because he's one of the worst defenders this team has ever seen. Obviously, he, I mean, there was a spell where he was kind of good, but uh, he doesn't deserve that captain's armband, man. And we're actually going to be... Uh, making some transfers that are more relevant to the current Chelsea squad. In terms of the formation, we're not going to be messing around with three defenders at the back and wing backs. That is nonsense. We're going to be going back to basics and we're going to be playing a 4-3-3. Or rather a variation of the 4-3-3 which is going to be the 4-3-2-1. I like this because it, it, it just you just have all of your bases covered and this is how we are going to play it. So we're going to have Christensen in the lineup. He's going to be first choice all the way. Aspiliqueta on the right. And we're going to have Tony Rudiger in the defense alongside Christensen with, we'll see how it goes, Marcus Alonso um, or Emerson. I'm not, I'm not too sure about Emerson, but Marcus Alonso is what we're going to have with Thibaut Couture. That's going to be our back five. In the midfield, N'Golo Kante obviously is going to be there. Says Fabregas, I like. He might be too slow, but I like. Um, Bakayoko is not going to be in the team. Not necessarily because he got a red card um, uh, against Watford, but just because, um, yeah, I, I, just, I don't think I want him in there. I think we're going to put in Ross Barkley at the moment to play alongside Kante and Fabregas in the midfield. And then up top, we're going to have Hazard on the left. We're going to have uh, Willian on the right with Morata up top. Obviously, Giroud supporting him. This is how the team is going to look like for the start of this career mode. We're going to be making some signings. I want to improve the left wing back position or the left back position. I don't know who I want to get in there. Maybe a Danny Rose. Maybe a Alexandro. We'll have to see Grimaldo, I think that kid's name is, who is a decent shout there. Um, Fabregas' position is not completely locked down because he's not as mobile as I would like him to be. 
obviously we have Danny Drinkwater. I would like to strengthen the right back position because I just feel like Davide Zapacosta was a panic buy. Should have never happened. Moses, although good, not better than Aspilicueta and definitely not as good a player to carry you through the um, uh, carry you through the season in terms of squad depth. Um, in terms of the youngsters, unfortunately, guys like uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek is out on loan, um, but. I'm not too worried about the youngsters right now. Hudson Ondoy is going to be making a few appearances as well. This is how this career mode is going to work. I'm not going to be playing every single match uh, because that's just crazy. What I will be doing though is I'll be playing all of the big matches. As you can see in the uh, preseason tournament that we have, we have Bayern and Real Madrid in our um, group. So I'll be playing those two matches. And then for the rest of the season, I'm just going to be playing the major derbies, like the London derbies, the major matchups against like um, against Manchester City and United, and so on and so forth. And any finals that I may take part in is what I will be uh, playing in as well. But for the most part, we're just going to be simulating matches. This is what I'm thinking of doing in the January transfer window. Now, I was talking about a right back. Unfortunately, Kyle Walker recently joined Manchester City and he won't be moving anytime soon. But Joshua Kimmich, Kimmich, Kimmich might be a nice alternative to Kyle Walker. Both um, 84 rated and Joshua is actually five years younger than Kyle Walker. So this is someone that I'm very interested in signing. Um, because I only have 82 million to play with, I'm gonna be going with player exchanges. So if I can give, um, for example, if I can give these guys Victor Moses uh, with some cash or not, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So Joshua Kimmich is what I'm thinking about at right back, just as a reinforce, just as a buffer for um, for your boy Cesar Aspilicueta. Danny Rose, 81 rated Danny Rose. I put Danny Rose in there because he's English and I feel like an English team needs to have a few English players. So at left back, maybe Danny Rose uh, or another name that I was looking at is, and I don't know why he's not here, is Alexandro. Obviously, Chelsea was linked with this guy for a long time, but we'll see how things go. In the midfield position though, I really want to strengthen. Deli Alley is a man that I want to see wearing the blue of Chelsea. Obviously, there's a lot of controversy around him right now because of a little video that may have leaked, um, but we don't care about that. 37 million um, with a 98 weekly wage at the moment. We might have to offer between 47 and 71. We'll have to see. I don't mind giving a player. We'll have to see how it goes. I might get Deli Ali and Goretzka. Goretzka is an absolute steal. This guy has 12 months left on his contract and is only worth 30 million at the moment. He has amazing potential, growth potential, so I like him. Another player I also like is the Lyon captain, Nabil Fakir. Now, if you do not know this man, he is in my ultimate team. He has been in my ultimate team in FIFA 17 as well. But this guy is, he's, he's crazy. He's got a left foot on him and he is just, he's a beast, man. The dossier describes him as a leader of men. Whoa, what did I do? The dossier describes him as a leader of men and it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. He's 35 million right now, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I threw Jesse Lingard in there purely because he's the best cam in the world. Ah, kill me if you want to. This guy's good, man. He's been the breakout player in the Premier League this season. And look, he is just an alternative in case Goretzka or Dele Alli don't come through for me. Anthony Martial is a player that I don't mind getting in exchange or getting um, and give Pedro the, the opposite way. So what I mean by that is I could offer Pedro as a player exchange and get Martial. He's younger. He's got, a, uh, he's got more technical ability, I think, than Pedro. And with the right guidance, this kid could be a beast. No transfer shortlist is complete without a wild card. And that wild card for me is Paolo Dybala, 89 rated. Now, snowball's chance in hell that I signed this guy in the first season because 
he is currently 78 million value but you can see that my scouts are estimating around 161 million is what i need to offer 185 wages so i mean it's just nice to have this guy in there and see what we get so before we get too heavy into the transfer dealings let's head into our first match hi there everybody we've got a pre-season tournament for you it's the asian elite cup and there are group matches this is the first round of them yeah interesting to see how these two teams match up and whether they're at the same stage of their preparations in terms of fitness when chelsea won their very first european trophy it was a different kind of chelsea in those days back in the early 1970s it was against real madrid yeah it's a tie with plenty of history martin and maybe we'll see more creative here number eight ross barkley number seven Kante. Here's and the I Chelsea feel like those two boys are going to be pivotal to goal. any success. Antonio Rudiger plays with pivotal Andreas to any success we have this backs. season. Ross Barkley plays with... Uh, shape them into the kind of uh, formation he wants. Let's see if it can uh, have a positive effect here. Well, they could pose some danger there we go. now. There we go. Morata on the ball. Have Morata. it. Ooh, nice block. Get it, get it. Ah, damn. So close, boy. So close. That was good football. That was good football. I really need the three up front. Hazard, Morata and William to link up nice and early get that chemistry going because those three man it's just they're going to be such a major a key here's, here's William again bring it play it back oh now, here's a sooner chance. boy I'll need that ball sooner what are you doing with your life can't say with the interception in midfield as you want him there goes big boy Morata this has to be a goal it has to be Alvaro Morata does the dirty 20th minute and hopefully this is a sign of things to come this season N'Golo Kante doing the dog work in the midfield winning back the ball stopping that attack and it was a quick fire break man quick fire break look at it and there's those three I need to, I need to come up with a little um, I need to come up with a little name for these guys man because H M W just Chelsea doesn't sound good. <laughs> w H M W H M sounds decent. William Hazard Morata, we'll work on it. Nice pass by Barkley to release William. Well, I like Mor Morata is making the run. Could this be number two? Oh, oh, it is. Oh man! Oh man! Two on his debut. The commentator just said it. It's crazy, bro. Ross Barkley with the quick fire release ball into Williams' path, and William was just on it. He was on his bike, and he was gone. He was just gone. Damn! Look at that ball. Nice floater. Defenders never. Is that Hakimi? It might be Hakimi at right back. What a mismatch! Two nil. Let's go. Nice. That it is about getting the players fit. They're just pleased to have Okay, Hazard is on the ball. Caliber. Look at look at William. So what is that? A, him in the flesh. He gets the and ball. Oh my god, there's a three. Oh miscue here. What? After putting it on his ball, William just skies it over the what a pass by Eden Hazard. I do not know what the Madrid defense is doing because there's no way William gets that ball surrounded by three defenders, but Damn, what an opportunity to make it three and all but put this game to bed. Are up the pitch now. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Barkley on the ball. Look at Morata. this. It's just they can't deal. This left Here's back William. can't deal with William's pace. That's another excellent come on, run come on. William. Send him really up. Rest, words, game. nothing. Morata again. Ah, oh, too far no out. Good play. Good play, but I like how Barkley and William are linked now. I like it. I love it anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene the referee has indicated there will be a minimum Marco Asensio uh oh, Mar uh -oh. wow what a Courtois. what an opportunity and that actually and just that reminded me Marco Asensio is another player that we might have to look at potentially bringing to the, the club now Only partially away from danger. my midfield come to Marcos think of it is actually pretty 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 congested at the moment because uh oh let, let's first really deal with this Barkley get it out play it to your boy William 
Oh man, nice, nice first half before I finish that thought. Nice first half, 2 0 up, and we were dominating, man. These guys only had one opportunity to came right at the end, and it's all about Alvaro Morata. Two goals against his former club on his debut. Might only be a, a pre season tournament, but that was that was mega. That was mega. Coming back to my thought at the end of the first half there and my midfield is actually very congested because I've got on the bench right now I've got Danny Drinkwater, I've got um, Chitumui Bakayoko who is also going to be featuring in the side and um, if I'm going to be bringing in a Deli Ali or a Leon Gretzka then um, I might be, I might have too many players because I'm only playing three in midfield. Um, but I don't Ross think Barkley. that's gonna be a problem because Hazard. look at this, look well, at, look at, look at, look at, it's just poetry it. in motion right now, man, the way these boys are playing. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be challenging on all fronts. The board has clearly stated that they want me to win Gross. the Champions League. That's not a foul, we have to get out of it. The they want me to win the Champions League, the League and the FA Cup. So I'm gonna no need doubt. a very, Around very thick skin in football. midfield. Um, to get through um, all of those matches. The only stage we've reached at the moment. Ross Barkley. What a ball by Morata and William is gone again. Come on, this has to be a chance. Flick it. Oh, oh what a chance. William with the second opportunity. Probably should have lobbed it over the keeper, but I get so nervous when it comes to lobbing. These guys are bringing on Gareth Bale now. But what a chance by William, man. What a chance. Can we do something from this corner maybe? Corner. Marcus Alonso went for the spectacular, didn't quite come off. Come on, get the ball here, get the ball here. Get the ball right here, do not let them... Uh-oh, uh CR7 is on the ball, half. but Kante is in pursuit. Looking good with this attack. Nope. Nope, that Challenge is N'Golo, Mr. Steal your ball, Kante. And you're not getting past him. Could this Morata. be a counter-attack? Oh, what a ball. But no, Marcelo. You see, Marcelo is on the pitch now. And you have a more experienced left back right there. So, we actually we should actually Marcelo. think about making some changes soon. Get a few other players involved. On the attack here. Ross Look Barkley. at this. Look at this. Hazard! Oh, what a move. William is keeping it alive. Save. Shake and bake. Thank you, ref. Word. Give him words. What an opportunity, that. man. What an opportunity. Well, I'm already excited about this season. And, this is and it, the it's, it's only the preseason. It's only the preseason. Let's see what we can do here. Marcus Alonso on the ball. Chuck it in there. Ooh, Fabregas. Had to be at least a shot on target. Well, the ball's gone out for a goal kick. You know, at 70th minute, let's make those changes real quick. Um, who do I want to bring on? I don't really have much to bring on. So I want to see... Let's see what Danny Drinkwater can bring to the table. Fabregas has been a bit quiet, so let's take him off. Um, Morata is on a hat-trick. Do I want to take him off? I think I might do. Let's actually move... Let's move Aspilicueta to centre-back. Bring on Christensen for Victor Moses. And then... Yeah, do I want to bring Pedro on for William? Yep, he's missed... He missed two good opportunities, so do better next time, William. Let's go. Good position. They've worked this attack Marco Asensio well. looking like he's pulling the strings, but nope. I have Aspili Quetta at centre back, and here goes Barkley. Give, give me runs, boys. Give me options. Look at this. Look at. Uh oh. This has to be. Hazard gone. Fend him off. Has to be. Hazard. Let's go. Big boy Eads with the third. Oh my days. It was all what about Barkley getting the ball up the pitch really quickly, laying it off to Morata, who in turn put through that through pass. Chelsea, Ooh. pretty comfortable now. Your boy has it, and he was actually, actually holding off cover. Hell, man. Damn. He, he is a bit feisty. Hazard is a bit feisty. I can't lie. That was a good goal. Put the ball into the penalty area now. Bale. He has to be. Boom! 3 0 full time. And we get the win in the Asia Cup pre season tour against the, the Galactico the Real Madrid. Yeah, Piling more pressure on, on Zinedine Zan. Let me guys know if you guys think Zidane should keep his job or not. Because I actually feel like Manz is playing, man. This guy is not serious at all. 
But Alvaro Morales with two goals on his Excellent. debut, and I'm Minutes liking what I'm you. seeing from my Put guys at the front. WHM, MHW, HWM, I don't know what you guys want to call them, but they are beasting and feasting. This was a beautiful, beautiful way to start our preseason for. Come on, Ross Barkley, love his move. Look at this, Manchester United with that cheese. These guys want to buy Thibaut Courtois for 58 million pounds. I'm thinking to myself, but y'all have David De Gea though. I mean, what's happening United? What's happening Mourinho? What are you trying to do? Manchester United is interested in purchasing this player. His market value is between 67 and 99. So you could negotiate a better deal. I don't want to let go of the, of, 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 of the Belgium though. I mean, Donnarumma is a nice option to replace him with. But I'm not about to sell my 89 rated goalkeeper to rivals in the league, man. Y'all are having a laugh. This is never gonna happen. It's just never. Having just rejected that bid from, from Manchester for Courtois though, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the dirty and I'm gonna be offering them uh, Pedro for Anthony Martial. Now, listen guys, I, I love this kid. I mean, most expensive teenager back when he, when he arrived at Manchester United. It's, whoo, it's crazy. Let's see how this goes. Look at Mourinho, smug as ever. Oh man. I mean, let's, let, let's see what this guy wants to do. Let's go with a player swap for now and let's see how he feels about let's see how he feels about 29 year old Pedro I mean this this could work bro let's see what he thinks we'd only consider swapping Pedro for Martial in a player plus cash deal all right how much money would you these guys want 28 million plus pedro am i reading that correctly you niggas must have me let's counter this um shall we propose a new a new transfer fee yeah let's propose a new one y'all are y'all are mad bro i might give you 15 I might give you 15 plus bid. That's a heavy price to play to pay for a player that might not even be playing every game. But I like Martial. Let's see what the, let's see what he thinks. What any sell on sell on claw? Hmm. Uh, I'll give you guys 10 percent of any sell on. Let's let's go with that. That is fair. Come on, Mao. Oh. Oh, wow. This guy is being a hot ass, eh? This guy is being a hot ass. All right, I'll counter him again. This time, I'll give them 20. If one thing you guys are gonna figure out in this, in this, um, in this little series that I'm running here is I'm a very, very cheap person. I don't like spending money at all. But I like what Martial can bring to the table. If they reject this, then we're gonna keep Pedro. If they reject this, we're gonna keep Pedro. Come on, Mao. Come on, bro. You for real? Ah. Uh, I then, I then, I mean, if that's how you want to play it, Mao, if that's really how you want to play it, Jose, then I guess we're done here. Bye. See you next time. All right, that, that didn't go according to plan. That did not go according to plan, and I am a bit, I am a bit sad. I am a bit sad, I ain't gonna lie.
we wanna go in for we wanna go in for Delhi Ali. We wanna go in for Delhi Ali. I I Hey Maurizio Welcome to the bridge I'm coming for your big boy I'm coming for Delhi Okay what what are we doing here? What are we doing? I don't wanna swap players um yeah i don't want to swap players i don't think i want to swap players let's just go with a transfer sum you know straight off the bat 40 million 50 let's go 45 i think maybe 45 million for daily alley is a good amount yeah yeah 45 let's do that let's do that Come on, Mauricio. You know you want to get rid of this boy. You know you want to do it. 70 million. Oh, my days. Wow. Uh, whoa. I need... To, I'm going to... I'm going to hit them. I'm going to hit them with... With 65. I, I look, I'm, I'm trying to save as much as I can, wherever I can. 65 is a huge chunk of my budget right now. And we're obviously going to have to sell dudes to try and compensate for this. But I feel as though Delhi Alley is going to be a good addition to the squad. I just I can't help but feel that. If he doesn't come, yeah, I'll let, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's do it. Come on, Mauricio, come on, bro. 65 is my final offer. If you if you can't see past 5 million between London rivals, then I, I feel like we're not... Okay. 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 Looks like we got... Damn, son. It looks like we got Delhi Alley for 65 million bucks. Okay, let's go in for the... Let's go in for the, for the wages now. Let's go in for the wages. Is going for the weights. Ah oh, man, these guys are gonna drive a hard bargain. They know I'm moneyed up, and I'm sure, man. Hopefully his agent is black as well. Nope, was well, worth worth the shot. Okay, no, your your squad role is set, bro. You are gonna be an indispensable member of this team. First, yeah, you're good. No, no, no. You're gonna be crucial, bro. You're gonna be crucial. That's for sure. Whether you're gonna be starting in the midfield with Kante and Barkley or Kante and Fabregas is completely up to me. Look at Ali. This guy is so he is so starstruck by me right now. You can just see the boy wants to be playing here. Alright. The length of the contract is gonna be the most I can give him. Because he is a 21-year-old English international. Okay, but I don't want to go too much. So I'm going to give him four years. Five is too crazy. I'm going to give him four years. Let's see what he thinks about four years. Five is a bit too much, but I think four. What, 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 what do you think? What do you think? Boom. Man just got... Look at that smile. This guy is getting happier and happier. He wants to be playing for the blues, bro. Why are my eyes blue, bro? I'm black. This is the weirdest FIFA EA you got it wrong. All right. Now let's let's move on to the big let's move on to the big business. Salary. What was this guy getting? He was getting 98, all right? So, I'm going to give him what? 110. Whoa, oh. <laughs> Whoa, I was about to give him 110 million. Jeez. Um, let's give him 110. Yeah, 110. Oh, 115. No. 110, bro. Relax. Relax yourself. 110 and a signing on bonus of. Oof. I mean, what should a signing on bonus be? 50 I'll give you an extra 50 
see what he thinks about that. Yeah, let's see what he thinks about that. 110 is fair. 50,000 pounds, I mean, you're already money, dude. I mean, you're already money. Boom! Boom, 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 boom. Guess who just signed Delhi Alley? Get out of here with that cheese, boy. That's a major signing. So Delhi Alley is inbound, and I think that's a that's a nice place to end the episode right now. It's been it's it, it it's been an exciting start to the journey here with Chelsea. Um, obviously, there is a lot that needs to happen with this team. There's a lot that we want to be doing. Why am I going back to this place? That is crazy. Um, there's a lot that's going to be happening. There's a lot that I'm looking forward to, a lot that I'm excited about. And before I actually get this over and done with, I just want to put, uh, what's his face? Gary Cahill on the transfer list because I want him to leave. But yeah, man, breaking news. Deli Alley has just joined Chelsea from Spurs for 65 million pounds. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe if you do. And if you are excited about this little journey, uh, because I'm going to be bringing these videos for you quick and fast, man. Uh, please, please subscribe to the channel and make sure to check back for the next one. Peace out, guys. Thanks so much for watching.